So here's the aquarium, and I've managed to find something very, very special happening. This is the sand crab. Charlie, I always let you do fun things. This is the sand crab feeding. It's positioned right underneath. You can see those giant big feathers it's got. It's right underneath the waterfall from the filter. Let's see if we can zoom in a bit more. I crunched up a bunch of fish food, which is now circulating in the water. And I don't know how this works, but I'm suggest I'm guessing that when something gets tangled in the big wands, she whips it into her mouth. But it might be it has to be something moving, not just a fish flake. But she's <clears throat> she's survived in this tank for at least a month. So she must be eating something. I've been giving a given the creatures six gallons of salt water from the ocean, well, from Lake Merritt, every week. And I expect there's lots and lots of plankton in that. And so that looks like, it looks like it's her butt sticking out, but that's actually her, her head. And her, yes, Charlie? Did you like any of those books? Yum. And her eyeballs are on these little stalks. I'll try to zoom in, but might not get that close. We might be maxed in. How can you tell it's a girl? Because, remember she had eggs? Those beautiful orange eggs. That's but how that I know. But that doesn't mean that she's a girl. Boy sand crab can have the eggs. Yeah, I didn't know that. I thought only girl sand crabs could. Boy sand too. Well, Not just girls. I guess it could be a boy sand crab. She seems to be bringing her feathers back inside to clean them off a lot more than before. So maybe she is eating that fish food. Okay, so here are the things you asked for. 